Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about their movies, obviously, their shows, anything that's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, there's a good chance I'll talk about it. So, uh, I'm going to be talking about even more news, I guess. More news-related material. I'll just cut to the chase because I'm going to make this fairly quick here. And yes, it's from this one website here. Again. Oh, boy, just... Wow. Okay. Like I said, I don't want to beat around the bush. I just want to cut to the chase so I can get this this asinine stuff out the way. Because, oh boy, again, again, it's extremely stupid. I mean, wow. Okay. How dumb do you have to be to believe in this, in this shit? So, before anyone says anything, yes, they're acting as if there's a war going on, spiritually speaking. And yes, I know time of politics and religion on YouTube. That's ex that's something that's a, usually a big no-no. It's usually not the most popular thing on YouTube because it's really decisive. Which personally, I don't think it has to be uh, a negative thing, really. But but uh, people can kind of take things out of context, which they often do, and just twist things around, which they often do. So for the specific article I wanted to look into. It's going to be written by a certain individual whom I spoke about before. And it's this guy. Ben Shapiro, like this guy again. He loves to pick on Disney, which I've discussed before. And according to this one article he did, he says that you should, uh, people should push back. People should push back and fight, uh, fight back against Disney, I guess. And they decided to rapidly reshape its politics and respond into some uh, radical... Activist, which of course is a form of gaslighting. This is not a small group, by the way, when you think about it, but okay. Of course, he's going to take a jab at the, the Disney CEO, Bob, because he's picking a side. If there's, if there's anybody that made it into a thing, a political thing, it's people like him. It's people like Ben over here that made it a political thing. And then when the LGBT plus community wants to fight back, his son takes an issue. He's already picking a side. How can he, someone like Ben over here, expect somebody to remain neutral when people like Ben want them to take a side? But when they do take a side, he will complain. All right, it's not the side that you want them to. Um, uh, oh, whatever. Of course, it's basically, I'm just going to talk about brief about this because it's the same thing I keep talking about over and over and over again. It's basically talking about in response to, in the state of Florida again, that, that will pass a law when it comes to indoctrinating people. Again, that's not how that works. You, either you are gay or you're not. That's it. That's literally, it's simple as that. You either are gay or you're not. That's, that's, it's that simple. But people like Ben over here are acting as if they went more bankrupt and just want to switch sides with, uh, I guess you can say the liberals and Democrats, whom he, of course, like to take jabs at because liberals and Democrats are a bunch of communists, according to these religious individuals, which is a lie because a lot of these religious individuals, mind you, I said a lot. I didn't say all, okay? Keep that in mind. A lot of these religious individuals are, in fact, communists themselves. Case in point, look at Cuba. Cuba are really into the religious stuff. They're, the vast majority of Cubans are Catholic themselves. Yeah, the place of Cuba has a communist government. They sure do, and they're Catholic. Funny how, like, Ben over here doesn't bring that up at all. But, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, of course, basically that's what this is about. they they're apparently going to attack family. He's just been over here just mad at the fact that Disney is supporting gays. That's literally it. That's what this entire thing is about. They they like morals, apparently. Okay, that doesn't make any sense because you can have a good moral, moral thing here and, have, and be gay. It is possible. It is possible to be Christian and gay at the same time. They're acting as if these two things are not compatible. 
And of course, this also in regards of uh, talking about trans people, the trans community, which again, I have to say or reiterate that being gay and being trans both are not the same thing. And that's another thing I'm consistently bringing up repeat on the repeat being gay or being straight, bisexual, pansexual, or whatever else you can think of. All of which are sexual orientations. Being trans is not a sexual orientation. Whether you want to be female to male or male to female, that's not a sexual orientation. Like, at all. That's more about gender identity. It's more about finding who you are. You realize there's more to, there's more to these people than being trans, right? There's more to these people than being whatever they are. There's more to these people than, than that. They just want to have a job, make a living, and all that. Of course, they're going to have their own hobbies, their own interests, and whatnot. They're going to have their own favorite type of movies like everyone else is. They will all be, they're going to talk about politics, which in itself does not have to be a bad thing, like at all, obviously. That in itself is not a criminal. Being gay or whatever else you can think of it, that is not a, being a criminal. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but. Again, I keep saying in this video and other videos, they're treating these individuals like they're a bunch of criminals. I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, they're trying to explain it like I can keep saying it. They're trying to destroy the family. They're trying to indoctrinate people. They're trying to, as in brainwashing. What are you talking about? They would treat like as if killing somebody, actual murdering somebody is more forgiving than being gay or being trans. Which in itself is completely asinine, when you think about it. That in itself does not make no sense. Like they're corrupted somehow? Like they're trying to destroy the sanctity of marriage? What are you talking about? Uh, Alright, I guess right before I end this video, yeah, I made it short because like I said, this is something I've already stated quite a few times on repeat. A number of different videos. I just want to just see, look at these a few comments, I guess. Like one comment here that reads, they don't need this, uh, this identity. What, what are you talking about? What? Like somebody being violent or whatever? Again, uh, what are you talking about? What does anything have to do with anything here? I don't, I don't get it. And here's a more of a lengthy one here. And basically, when it comes to competition, uh, boys against girls, girls against boys, Oh, how, how have boys compete against other boys on trans? What are you talking about? On the whole bathroom thing? Which is another thing I've talked about before. I can I'm so sick so and tired of this. And, of course, there's this as well. Again, you can, sep you can separate woke uh, from supporting the LGBT plus community. Yes, you heard me right. You can support the gay people and go against woke culture. Yes, that's possible. Which, again, I can keep repeating myself over and over again. I've discussed this before. And this is just asinine. So, and you, and like I said before as well, you don't have to believe in God. You don't have to believe in God to be a good person. You, you don't need to get your morality from a book. If you need to get your morality from a book, you're already a bad person. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.